Um, what do you say about the tempo from the beginning? Um, um, connected to, to articulation for the start here. Yeah, so this is a fantastic yeah. meaning. I really, I really think it should be in, in, in um, legato. As you said, the orchestra goes up to forte and then the clarinet yes. comes from yes. really from nothing. But there will be um, some sound from this ending. Bam! And then, do you think it should be started in mezzo forte and then go down? And then well, I, I had that sure. idea, but I think what you want is that the clarinet should come out from from the south. From, from nothing, this, this time, yes. <laughs> uh, yesterday you asked me, let's start with it, 124. Um, you mean this forte piano? Yes. And okay. I, I don't want for the piano because oh, you don't want no, okay. it's it's different dynamic there yeah. because it's a little bit different orchestration. Okay, and I need the force all the time. When I am trying to put the perfect articulation yeah. in, in, in the score, I often deal with thoughts, you know, balance, in terms of dynamic, mm -hmm. the whole, mm -hmm. the musician. Mm -hmm. And I think the articulation is, for me, a sort of discussion with the soloist. Yeah. Not only that I decide and you play, oh. because it depends on so much. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And it's, 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 um, some of your interpretation yeah. are also the articulation. Yeah. So therefore, it's important for me to, to, to discuss Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. A long time. <laughs> this is just to illustrate some of the new techniques that we are using or that Rolf is using in, in his new concerto. And this is an, an example of um, how you can collaborate as a composer musician, I would say. a new character and that's fantastico and it was what you just heard. <laughs> <laughs> 